In this video, we're going to begin simplifying algebraic expressions by using a process called substituting a value. But first, I want to talk about what this thing is called a variable. A variable is simply a letter that we will use that represents some unknown number. It's almost a fill in the blank. What is this mysterious number? The nice part about that is, is once we know the value that that letter is representing, we can replace the variable with that number. Let me show you an example. In this problem, we have this expression, 3x minus 4y squared. There's two variables, the x and the y, which are representing unknown numbers. Well, this problem wants us to evaluate when they tell us the x is representing the number 2 and the y is representing the number 5. What we can do is we will replace the x and the y with parentheses around the number it represents. So this means we have 3x. x represents the number 2. Minus 4y. y represents the number negative 5 squared. And all we've done here is we've replaced the x with 2 and the y with negative 5, and now we have an order of operations problem which we can solve. Order of operations is going to ask us to evaluate the exponent first. So we have 3 times 2 minus 4 times negative 5 squared is positive 25. Next, we multiply from left to right. 3 times 2 is 6, minus 4 times 25. Continuing to multiply from left to right, we get 6 minus 100. And finally, when we add the opposite, 6 and negative 100, the negative is bigger, and when we subtract, we get 94, or negative 94 for our solution. So we can evaluate an algebraic expression by replacing the variable with the number it represents. Let's try one more example. Here, we have a c squared over 3a plus 4b. We can replace the c with what it represents, 6, the a with what it represents, 2, and the b with what it represents, negative 3. When we do that, the c is now a 6 squared over 3a, which is now a 2, plus 4b, which is now a negative 3, and we end up with this big order of operations problem. We can simplify, we'll do these both together, the numerator and denominator. The numerator is an exponent, the denominator has multiplication, 6 squared is 36, 3 times 2 is 6, plus 4 times negative 3. Continuing the denominator, working left to right in the multiplication, we end up with 36 over 6, and 4 times negative 3 is negative 12. Finishing the denominator by adding the opposite, we have 36 in the numerator, then in the bottom, the negative is bigger, and 12 minus 6 is 6. And finally, now that the top and bottom numerator and denominator are completely simplified, we can divide 36 by negative 6 to get our final answer of negative 6. Positive divided by a negative is a negative. And so what we see is all we're doing with this algebraic expression, with these letters that we don't know what we represent, is when we are given what they represent, we replace those values in parentheses, keep the rest of the expression the same, and then just use order of operations to find our final solution.